Hello guys and welcome. In this video we're going to be looking at the latest KeyPass vulnerability that dumps the master password. Please note this vulnerability affects all KeyPass instances on version 2, with a fix expected on KeyPass version 2.54, which is due to be released anytime soon. To exploit this vulnerability we need to download the KeyPass password dumper from the following GitHub repository here. I'll put the link in the description. So what you want to do is just go to code and then download zip. So once it's downloaded, if you just open file, and then what we want to do is just extract the folder. Okay, so once extracted, we're just going to minimize that and then we're going to open our KeyPass database. So to exploit this vulnerability, we do need to enter the master password. So you are probably thinking, what is the point in this vulnerability if we need to enter the password? Well, just for an example use case, if a user has already signed into their KeyPass database and left their computer unattended, a malicious actor could just quickly dump their master password. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to quickly enter my password. Okay, so what we want to do next is open up Task Manager. And then we want to look for KeyPass and then right click and create dump file. And then we want to open file location. And then what we want to do is just copy that dump file that was created and just paste it in the KeyPass password dumper main. So next what we want to do is just open up command prompt and then we just want to change directory into that key pass password dumper directory. So next what we want to do is just type in .net run and then type in the key pass dump file and then select enter. Okay so what we see here then is the output of the password so the first line here does not actually reveal the letter but then here onwards we've got the rest of the password so if i was just to quickly prove it we don't know the first character but we know the following Okay, so my password was hello key pass 2023 and just to prove it, I'm just gonna copy this. I'm going to lock the workspace and then I'm just going to paste in that password. And then as you can see, it unlocks the password database.